Hi everybody, 16 feet reporting in. Uh, this is my uh, first video on the original series round two classic Enterprise. And uh, not sure if I'm gonna be doing a series of these, but uh, there's so many great builds right now on YouTube. Uh, you know, the guys, the work the guys are doing there is just fantastic. But anyway, I just wanted to add my two cents worth to it. And uh, Working on the Passar collectors, um, I kind of did a little spin on the mirror using the the, uh, the tiny mirrors. Now, some guys uh, on YouTube have been using the uh, the mirrors, and and but what I've done, I've actually taken rhinestones. That you can get at a dollar store just uh, costume jewelry uh, they've got a sticky backing on them uh, when exposed to light they immediately reflect light and of course uh, the larger the uh, the rhinestone uh, the more light it reflects back uh, the beauty about these is that uh, with the small rhinestones uh, you could actually uh, get right in there and uh, just to give you an idea I'm gonna try to bring this in a bit just to see if you can see that and just hold it still uh, as you can see I've got rhinestones placed all around I got the larger ones centered in the middle uh, the other Bussard collector I've used the small ones in the center but the good thing about these is that uh, with the sticky backing you can actually uh, pluck these out and uh, rearrange them uh, the first time I tried this I actually used the larger and medium sized rhinestones but uh, when I put the main clear dome over it uh, what I found was is that uh, I had a little bit too much raised height and I had to shave the bottom rim of the uh, of the housing I had to shave the bottom rim of the housing down a bit just so that it would sit flush now I, I did shave the outer rim of the uh, circuit board and I, I managed to just depress that just a little more but uh, really wasn't necessary uh, once I switched over to the smaller rhinestones uh, I had plenty of clearance uh, for the spinner and also uh, for the dome for the dome to uh, sit over and recess inside and sit nice and snug and uh, it does sit pretty snug there and uh, <laughs> it takes a moment to, to, to get it out which is a good thing because uh, if there's any jostling around uh, this dome is not going to fall out very easily I also notice uh, uh, I've got some aluminum foil uh, also not aluminum foil but uh, d uh, the uh, metal tape uh, I actually have it underneath the rhinestones to give it even more light and uh, those spaces where I never got the tape inside in the middle I, uh, I actually put uh, chrome silver painted on the inside as well so I've got a lot of light reflection going on there uh, a lot of guys have tried different things uh, with the bulbs I've tried some different patterns and uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the spinner uh, with this pattern uh, this one here has the uh, photo etch by power graphics uh, metal strips which I have in place here already and uh, you can just see them through the dome there I'm not sure how good it'll turn out on camera but you can just see them there the domes is frosted and uh, just to see if I can pop this off now this dome here I actually uh, have re uh, sanded down on the edge along here just a little bit, just enough to uh, seat it in, and uh, you can see the uh, the dome here. I'm going to try and zoom in on this. You can see uh, I've got it there, and I got some cleaning up to do between the uh, the uh, the metal strips, as uh, I've got some fudging that that occurred uh, with the uh, adhesive. I used metal foil ad adhesive, uh, suggested by Jason and a few of the guys. Uh, to get these on and uh, it, it took a bit to get used to uh, but as you, you can see it's on and it's on pretty good 
and uh, the spinner red uh, is on good and uh, with this one here I'm going to try and uh, pull it off very gently and uh, it's coming loose and there it's nice and snug uh, incidentally uh, this is uh, one of the ones that uh, let's see if I can get you back in the camera here <laughs> We'll just zoom back out. Now, as you can see, you can see the, uh, the rhinestones are there in place. Now I'll just come back out of there for a second. And uh, you can see uh, this is one of the domes that uh, was completely, uh, pardon the pun, uh, warped. Uh, the post was really bent. It was actually leaning on the uh, other side of the uh, dome of the spinner. And uh, of course I uh, contacted round two. Uh, follow the instructions. Thanks Model Man Tom uh, for the uh, uh, word on that and how to uh, get that set up and I did and I contacted them sent off my uh, order and uh, they had no problem uh, replacing it. I got a reply from uh, Douglas from round two and uh, thanks Douglas uh, for sending the parts. Uh, it was very gracious and uh, my parts are on the way. So uh, I think I'll uh, use those parts but in the meantime though uh, I'm definitely going to use this one because this one I repaired came out pretty good. So I'm going to stay with it. It's uh, pretty much done. Just needs some cleaning. And uh, we'll go look at the uh, the rhinestones here. You can see uh, see them all in there. And a good alternative to mirrors. Uh, less dangerous. <laughs> Not to worry about smashing up mirrors. Although I did have some mirrors and I was exactly going to do that. Uh, put them in a bag and uh, smash them up in little bits and uh, put them on. Try it that way. And uh, once I... My wife actually came up with this idea. So, uh, you know... <laughs> There, there's some things uh, that uh, you need to check out in the ladies section uh, uh, that can get, help you with your modeling. Uh, you know, and rhinestones is one of these things, so costume jewelry, things like that. Uh, so basically that's where I am now with this. I've got the uh, amber lights frosted. Uh, I've got red, red, and red. Uh, and I got a green and a blue. Kind of like that combination that produces a nice glow. Uh, I did uh, blacked out the posts uh, the posts on the side to support the lights uh, generally uh, they do light up uh, but you can black them out and because when you look inside on then you don't really see those lights but as as you come towards the angle of the dome uh, you start seeing everything coming through and uh, it gives the effect of a nice uh, engine effect kind of like there's there's heat building up there there's things going on there uh, it looks good uh, Jason uh, uh, did a great job in his Bussard collector and uh, I kind of use that as a, as a guide uh, uh, to help me out put this together. Thanks uh, Jason, uh, great work there and uh, uh, and also uh, uh, HD uh, AX um, helped me out too as well. Actually you may have them backwards. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, a little nervous doing this. I shouldn't be, been uh, modeling for a long time but uh, I've been out of it for a while, so uh, with watching your vids has helped me uh, get back into the uh, the modeling. Uh, so let's uh, fire this up now and uh, see how this looks. Uh, this is just a test run, mind you. I don't have anything uh, <laughs> rigged up the way it should be, and it, it will be uh, rigged up uh, for ins installation to the model. But uh, I'm just going to run it without with the uh, the lights on. See if I can come back a bit here. Now. This one on this side is the one uh, that's basically finished, and uh, this one here, uh, I'm going to wait for my replacement spinner uh, before I do that one. So I'm just going to pull it back a bit here. There we go. All right, let's fire up the uh, the bizarres. Now it's kind of hard to tell. There's but you any backlight, but you could actually see the uh, the light reflecting. I know the camera can pick it off, but uh, the light's actually reflecting off the uh, crystal. Let's try to get in as close as I can, guys. You can see the uh, the light reflecting off the uh, crystal. So, uh, yeah, it, it does work. Now, how does that translate into the domes? Well, let's find out. We're going to kill the lights here for a moment. We're going to get the spinner back on. Um, I'll show you guys how I uh, fix the uh, the uh, inner tube of the spinner. That's been a, a big problem for everybody. 
and uh, it's one of those things like how the heck do you fix that without some major drilling and things like that well I kind of figured it out thinking out of the box and I'm just gonna push my uh, spinner down it's almost on top and the good thing about this is that uh, if you push down too far you can hear their you can hear the spinner hitting off the uh, the rhinestones but it doesn't dislodge them because I actually adhere them I used uh, uh, micro uh, metal adhesive to uh, even though they had a sticky back and uh, I just wanted to uh, take a chance of them dislodging so uh, I, I adhered it sealed them down uh, we'll put the spinner uh, <laughs> you know what I did <laughs> yeah let's put the one with the uh, the actual uh, brass tubing on it there we go okay we'll fire it up without the uh, frosted dome here it's a little bit it's hitting off just a bit just kind of pull it out a bit now you don't want to grab that too many times because uh, you could dislodge the uh, the brass strips and uh, see if we can pull it back a bit Oop, kind of pull it back a bit here now we'll put the uh, frosted dome on Make sure we got the uh, right one. I didn't really do much sanding to this, so uh, if I put on the wrong dome, uh, no big deal. It's not not a heck of a lot of difference there. Now the fit is not exactly where I want it with these posts. I'm just putting it on here just to let you guys see how it goes. Now we'll just uh, fire up the uh, the cell again, and uh, there you go. So I got a nice effect going there and uh, side on you can't really see those posts you got a nice glow there and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna kill the lights guys and uh, see how this goes it's gonna take a moment I'll be right back 